Back at the bunker again, um, I'm actually going to do a bit more wiring. I've got grass to cut, but I'm going to do the wiring first because it's lovely and cool below ground. Uh, even at that time, it is still really, really warm above ground here. Uh, it's been a heat wave for about the last three or four weeks, and uh, yeah, it's been absolutely roasting. So for a long time, I had this connection here. And what I used to do with that, I had a sort of a telephone here and then I could plug in a telephone and leave it on the desk if I didn't want to use the Teletalk. But what I'm going to do now is swap it out for a fitting like this, um, but you know, a blank plate on it. And then I'm going to hardwire um, the connection then into the radio box that will eventually lead to the Teletalk through the modem and everything. So um, I have to take this off and then the connection that's in there, um, hardwire that in. So it shouldn't take me very long to do and uh, once that's done then basically that means that every time I run the uh, the modem and everything in there um, I'll have a hardwired connection so I don't have to have plugs and things dangling out and things like that there. So yeah, not not the most difficult job in the world so I'll, uh, I'll get on to that now. Okay, I've taken the junction box off or the little telephone box. the one I'm going to put in its place. So the cable is going to come in through the top and then that's going to look like that with the cable coming in from the top then and uh, then we'll have the wire coming out and then it will run down to a little RJ11 box that will be down here somewhere and yeah we hide it in here somewhere and uh, yeah then I can run it in. So right get this mounted and get this cable down inside it. Okay, there's the box on. There's the cable brought through. So I have another hole here in the side of the box that I'm gonna bring another cable through. And then I have a little, little junction box here. And that is gonna go on just in there like that. Stuck on inside, you probably can't see, but it's a little box like that. And that will give me an RJ11 connection. And I'm just going to hide it in behind the speaker, which goes on here. And uh, that will give me then RJ11 down into the radio box. So, yeah, getting along. Okay, that's the uh, telephone connection made. And I'm using these little jelly crimps just to make a waterproof connection. So that's the connection that comes from the junction box um, for the main telecoms in the post. And then this will run down to underneath the radio box where I'll have another connection. So I'll move the camera and I'll show you what I'm doing next. Okay, so this is underneath the radio box. So what I'm going to do is have this little box under here. And then this RJ11 will plug in there. And that will give me the internet to then the modem and the connection to the Teletalk. So that'll just be wired in just under there like that and heading out of view. So we'll get that fitted now. Okay, just a rough hard wire. And you can see there's the cable coming up through. Let me lock the focus. There's the, uh, the cable coming up through. There's the cable going up to the junction box. There's the uh, little telephone connection point. And then as you can see, we have a working teletalk. So that's good. So at least I know everything works. So a couple of screws, get the cover back on and then get a couple of cable ties just to tidy it up down here and get the cover on. And that is that finished. So yeah, another jump cut. There we go, all wired up. So cover's back on. Incoming wire comes in from the junction box. Into here, out of here, down the uh, sort of electrical cable for the radio itself. Comes in under, into this little box here, and then we have a shorter cable then bringing it up. And it goes into the back, and goes into the modem and the router, that provides power. And uh, then obviously that snakes its way around into the case 200, that gives power. And then it goes down into the Teletalk itself. So yeah, I think that's a, a much tidier setup. Um, Yes, it's, it's really, I've done the same thing, except I've just sort of moved the box from here uh, down underneath. But um, a little bit of white paint on that and um, you won't even notice it. But it just means now I can keep the box closed when I don't want it open. 
and uh, yeah, it just tidies things up a little bit more. And that's really all I'm doing at the moment. I'm just tidying things up, like the conduit I put over here. Um, that was just tidying things up, you know, getting the bulb in that, okay, as you can see, it's orange at the moment, which means we, um, my battery is a little bit low. So that actually shows how that works then, the fact that it's on orange. So I need to uh, disconnect everything in a second and uh, get up and cut the grass. But yeah, just wanted to show you this. Uh, nice quick little job, didn't take me very long, probably about 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, looks much, much better. And here we go, just a quick look at above ground. So you can see the sun is going down, nice long shadow. But yeah, the grass was actually pretty, pretty long. I was surprised with all the hot weather we had that it actually grown so much. You can see it's quite scorched in places, but uh, reasonably healthy. And the field definitely needs cut. It is way up and the cows are in the other field. But uh, yeah, grass cut, so it's good to get that done. Blue ground is in really good condition. It's really, really great. Um, Obviously the humidity level is quite low at the moment, so uh, it doesn't, doesn't feel damp down there at all. So I've done all the jobs I needed to repair wise, you know the post doesn't need anything else done to it, uh, which has been good, all the painting's done, things like that there, and all the electrical work has been done, um, yeah, just the, every, all the little jobs have been done, and because there wasn't really any big jobs to do, and uh, yeah. Bunker's ready for action. Uh, hopefully I will be open for the European Heritage Open Day this weekend. Uh, that begins on Saturday, I think it's the 8th of September. It's the 8th or 9th of September uh, this year. And obviously we didn't have one last year due to COVID. But uh, fingers crossed this one is allowed to go ahead. And I haven't heard anything otherwise to say that it's not. So yeah, fingers crossed everything goes to plan with that. Uh, but listen folks, as always, uh, thank you very, very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.